So I was just backing up some orders and these just sold and these sold for quite a bit of money 700 Canadian just for these two with the little clothes and all the original accessories. This one's still posted for $250 and their names are all here. We got Saint Tropez. We have Dottie and she's not wearing the Dottie clothes. The Dottie clothes are actually in this little bag here. Let me get them out and show you them. And I believe all of these little dresses are actually all handmade. And they're from the 1970s from a designer named Mary Quant. And she handmade all these little, I don't think she did it, but these were all handmade in Hong Kong, probably by a sweatshop. You know how they used to do it back in the day. But these are extremely expensive from the 1970s as well. And like, look at the little clothes they're wearing. They're very, very 70s. And you can see the little buttons, but the faces on them are actually quite nice for dolls that are made in the 1970s. These are from the UK. Now all these little outfits, this little outfit would have been individually sold. And this one's called Ring Around the Roses, I believe. And reselling these right now, if you could find these in the package or even not in the package, you could honestly get like $60 to $100 just for the clothes. Some, if you find them in the package, I feel like they're actually worth like 200 plus. And one way you can tell the accessories are the original accessories from her little set is this little flower. And that's actually Mary Quant's little logo she used to do back in the day. You can see them on some of the, some of the shoes. Let's see, it's kind of hard to see, but there's a little flower on there. I believe even some of the purses and bags have it right on the front that little flower is her little logo from back in the day and the dolls i'm gonna get one of the clothes off the dolls so you can actually see the branding on the back i'll take them off so you can try to identify these yourself so they actually even have underwear on them as you can see she got the red ones like it's a celebration it's a bit hard to see but right there on the butt it says Model Toys Hong Kong. So that's what you're looking for, Model Toys. And another giveaway is these little button up clothes. All of the original 70s clothes had these little buttons on them. And the outfits themselves, like if you search up the outfits, if you just take a picture with your phone, go into Google and then search the image, you'll be able to usually find even like these outfits themselves just because of how important these are to people and how old they are you'll be able to find them but definitely don't pass these up if you can find them usually in thrifts there's a whole bunch of barbies and dolls that are just naked and not even looked at and these are really really expensive seven hundred dollars total just for these two with all the stuff and i'm gonna get another probably 250 for this one so what a crazy sale I actually accidentally found these in a Barbie box that was from the 60s. I found all the clothes and then I thought, hey, you know what? These clothes are really valuable. I should go back and check to see if the dolls are actually there and they were. So here's a little picture of them in the thrift in the bags. So we got Saint Tropez. We got Dottie with the original dotty clothes and we got bee's knees with the original bee's knees outfit all right cool i'll definitely buy this one dirty sxl 60 dollars i have a code take 10 off how about that one i guess i should probably get this one huh? all right i just bought them we got one with the broken bottom screen I think this one's still on right now. It's kind of hard to see the top screen, but the top screen is there. That's a 3DS XL. It doesn't have the pen, but I actually have a lot of extra pens and chargers and everything at home. Same with this one. Nintendo DSi XL, pretty big. Never found one of these at a thrift yet. And this one's working perfect, luckily. So we're gonna make a good amount of money on both these. So we're back from the thrift with these DS's 
and we have the DSXL, it's a bronze, and this one's working perfectly. Both of these DSs were in just amazing condition, other than the fact this screen needs to be replaced, but realistically, the screens on eBay are not that expensive at all, so you can get a screen for like, I think $20, maybe even less nowadays. Someone's coming to pick this one up right now for $80 off Marketplace, so this one's already gonna be sold for 80, and then I'm probably gonna get about 100 to 140 for this one alone. And it's a pretty nice bronze edition, like the person who had it before honestly didn't make any marks on it. It's an amazing condition. I'm packing up some more orders right now. We just sold some more stuff. Another Barbie from 1967. Sold that for $75. We found that with the other dolls that I just sold for $700. And we sold this in chroma Ellis glasses. I have them right here. I sold these for $250. I have them posted for only $300. So took an offer for $50 off. Honestly, I would have taken $100 off of these and still taken the offer. I really don't care about these. But these are the glasses that were super popular a while ago that let uh, colorblind people see colors for the first time. And if you see these in chroma, this is what the box looks like. In chroma. Definitely pick them up. We also sold this Razer Orb Weaver Chrome Stealth left hand gaming controller. It's right here in this box. I found it in this tatar, what is this? Tartarus? I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that box, but the in chroma orb weaver was actually inside. I don't know if I should, I, oh yeah, I could just pop it open for you. So it's a left hand little gaming controller. Found this at the thrift and I wasn't recording that day. When I first found it, I was going like this, like this is weird, why would you do this with your pinky? But yeah, left hand. It does like RGB, all this stuff. I'm not gonna get out of the box, but if you see one of these in the thrift, definitely pick it up. Pretty rare find, I've never found one of these before, but sold it for 80 bucks. Gonna send it in this box. Never said it came with this box, so hopefully they're happy about that. So we also saw the Barbie we sold, 1967 Growing Up Skipper. If you watch the movie, apparently she's in the Barbie movie. I don't know, I didn't really watch it. And so this thing, if you rotate the left arm, it will grow in height and in breast size for some reason. This is from 1967 too, so absolutely crazy. And we have the original whole set with it with the little red socks. I think it was just missing boots or something, but sold for $75. So if you see one of these in the thrift, definitely don't pass it up. Pretty rare, I would assume, since it's from 1967. But I see them on eBay posted naked for pretty quite high value. So I really don't sell Barbies, and I'm probably not going to make a habit of it. Just found a rare box that was really old and just took a shot on it, but it really did pay off. Look at this one right here. Here in the thrift. This right here is a controller holder. Looks like this because it holds controllers. I have one at home, actually, the monkey one. It's cable guys. If you see these cable guys, and they look like this, they come in different figures, but these are controller holders. They sell for quite a bit of money and four bucks on this one is a great deal. So this is the other one I have, a Call of Duty monkey zombies bomb. And they're just controller stands. They're also phone stands. You can also put what whatever, I guess, in them, right? Little DS, he's holding it. So I'll hold my phone sideways I like to display the controllers in them though like that oh god it's super spiky holy fuck this is like the sharpest fruit I've ever felt in my life it's a durian it's like the stinkiest fruit in the world in some places it's actually illegal to cut these open wow it's super sharp though. Oh god. Jesus Christ, look at those little dots are left in my hands. Pretty good finds though. Bunch of GameCube games, some Wii games, pretty good. Only for five bucks. Something you gotta check with these though, 
is if they have the hard drive. And this one has a 250 gig hard drive. Usually people take these out. Water, 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 water